Hello everyone, and welcome to this tutorial video on how to command units in 0K, most effectively. Though so in 0K, the game is all about units killing each other, and destroying buildings, and killing your opponent's commanders, and in order for that to be done effectively, you have to know how to command them well. The first step to commanding units well is to put them in control groups. Hold the control key and hit a number, and they'll go, go into a control group. Now, each unit can only be in one control group at a time, so if you reassign its control group, that will be its new control group. For reference, buildings can also be assigned to control groups. Control groups can be accessed by hitting the number corresponding to them. As for movement, the Spring Engine in general, and Zero K in particular, have a couple movement features that are very handy. Single units can have orders set up in a line rather than one at a time, so you can draw entire paths for your units to follow. Groups can do similar line moves, however in that case it creates a custom formation for them on the fly. You could move to a point if you wanted to, but it's much better to do a line move. This allows you to create whatever formations you want of units, any combination of unit types, any combination of units, and it allows you to set up a nice formation for units going to combat. So you can have your skirmishers at the back, and raiders at the front, or assault units at the front. And if you hold the control key and right click, or move in general, units will maintain formation as they move, based on their current relative positions. Holding the alt key will cause them to form a box formation, regardless of their current formation. It's kinda, it might be handy, though the line move is typically more convenient for forming formations of units. This is really useful. If there's anything to take away from this video, the line move and formation move commands would be it. These are extremely useful for commanding units in 0k. Now, another really handy micromanagement saving tool is the fight command. Using the fight command, your units will automatically move to dodge out of the way of combat, move to basically avoid getting hit as best as possible. It's not perfect. Manual micromanagement is still going to be better, but you will be able to avoid a great deal of manual micromanagement by using the fight command. This is another staple part of playing 0k effectively. Though it's more so, like I said, for fights going on in the background when you're trying to manage your base or manage other fronts at the same time. It's also worth pointing out that in 0k, units can fire while moving. So you don't need to worry about units stopping to fire, you don't need to worry about automatically targeting, attack moving certain things, and then units and is stuck in one place, units will continuously move around the battlefield as they're firing. This is just worth emphasizing, though it is fairly obvious from the video footage, but it's a very important point to emphasize, seeing as it isn't always true in RTS games. The last important thing to know about unit movement and firing is the move and fire state commands. You can set units to have no fire state, so they don't shoot at all. You can set them to fire only retaliatorily, so they'll fire as soon as they're shot upon, or they can fire at will, which is generally the default for non-snipers. Similarly, movement units can be set up to follow units indiscriminately, to follow units only to a set range, or to avoid falling units. Skirmishers by default avoid falling units at all, and this is an example of what happens when they're set to follow units indiscriminately. End up going into combat, and in this case actually doing fairly well, but Typically the defaults are what you want to go with. Skirmishers will typically stay in one's place and fire at will. Snipers will typically avoid firing and avoid chasing things. But most units will follow to a limited range and fire at will. Thank you for watching this tutorial on 0k orders, and if you want to play, the game is free at 0k.info.